Sound Test Mic. What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So in this video, we are going to discuss again Dynamo for Revit. So this topic, it's just actually a review on what we have discussed uh, last year, which is this one. Okay, so last time I have discussed how to export your data uh, from Revit to Dynamo to your Excel. Okay, so on my previous exercise, I have shown you how to do that in your uh, Revit architecture uh, project. Okay, so as you can see, this is my previous video of that. This time around, I'm going to show you how to use your or how to export your data from Revit MEP to your Dynamo to our Excel. Okay, so as you can see, I have the parameters here, family name. I also have the the element ID exported here as well as the panel parameter. So basically, these are the parameters that I want to use to extract from Revit to my Dynamo and eventually to my Excel here. And then these are the instances of mechanical equipments and then element IDs and then the panels. Okay, so this time around, we'll be using Dynamo for our Revit MEP or Revit Mechanical by extracting this mechanical equipment. All right, so let's go. Let's get started. All right, so for this one, I have used here a sample project so that at least you'll be able to follow the exercise. Okay, in case you want to locate the sample file, you just need to go to File, Open, and then you click this drop down arrow here, and then you can select your sample file. So when you click that, you should be able to see all the sample files here. Okay, so the one that I have open is RME Advanced Sample Project, um, this one, okay? Right, okay, so of course, one way of exporting your schedule, like for example, the mechanical equipment schedule here is, you can use the built-in one. You can go to File, you can go to Export, <clears throat> and then after that, you click the drop-down arrow, and then there's the reports, right? And then you'll be able to export this schedule to a text document. Okay, so it's not, you will not be able to export it directly to Excel file, but it will become a text document. Okay, so that's the difference of what we are going to do right now. So we will be using Dynamo to export this um, data to Excel directly. Okay, because this one, okay, it will export your data in a text document. All right, to start, so let us now uh, fire up our Dynamo. So my Dynamo here is already open. So where's my Dynamo? This one. And we will be using these nodes here. So these are the starting nodes that we'll be using, the file path. Okay, so what will be the file name of the Excel file that you are going to use when we export the details or the uh, important um, fields from Revit? to our Excel. So this is the Excel file that I have. So I already created one. This is a blank Excel file. And then aside from that, aside from file path, since we want to extract our equipment, mechanical equipment, so I use there the categories and all elements of categories, which is the basic nodes that we've been using for quite some time already. I think last exercise, we also used this one. Okay categories and then all elements of categories now the next thing that we are going to do is we need to get the parameter that we want to be included in our in our schedule okay on our excel so like what i have shown you earlier so we are going to use the parameter family name uh, element id and then panel okay of course you can add more but this is just an example so i'll be using these three uh, parameters here Okay, so to do that, I think you know already what you are going to do. So you need to look for element.get. Okay, so last time we also used this one along with element.set, right? So this time let's use get. So get parameter value by name. Okay, so since we are going to use three nodes or I mean three parameters, so you can get of this okay so let's copy control v 
Control D. There you go. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is let's look for uh, what is the parameter name. So I'll be using a code block here. The parami uh, parameter name that I'm going to use is uh, uh, family name. Okay, family name. Okay, so just like what we have here. So there's the family name. Okay. So family name, I'm going to connect that to my parameter name. Okay. And then after that, I'll just make sure that this is on manual. Okay. Now for the family name, or maybe instead of using this one, so I'll just go get first the panel. I'll just put panel first. So panel for that. And then what are the elements? Okay, so what are the elements? I'm going to put that there. Okay, so panel. So if I'm going to run this, I should be able to get all the uh, panels here. So as you can see, I already extracted here all the panels. So I have 47 items here. Okay, so 47 items of uh, panel here. Okay, so that's for the first one. So that's for the panel. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I also want to extract the, the element ID. Okay, so to, to get the element ID, instead of using this, I'm going to look for element ID, this one. So element ID. Okay. Again, what are the elements that we are going to use? So we are going to get the elements here. So there you go. So element ID. And then again, if I'm going to run this, I should be able to get the 47 items of element ID. There you go. So these are now the element IDs. Okay. Of this uh, categories. Okay. Of this category, I mean. Alright, so now the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to get the instances of our uh, family. Okay? The instances of our family. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move it here. Or maybe I'll just put it here. Okay, so what we want to do next is we want to get the list of these uh, instances. Okay, this instances, this family type. So to do that, what we are going to do is we're going to use this uh, family instance. Okay, so family instance get family. Okay, so family instance get family. This one gets the family of this family instance. So let's click this one. All right, so there you go. So the output will going to be family. Okay, so family instance get family. So we are going to connect this there. So there's, I want to get the family instance. Okay, so if I'm going to run it again, okay, if I click the drop down arrow, so there you go. So there's the family type. Okay, so here, this is the category, right? Okay, these are the category. The mechanical equipment and then the category elements and then these are the family type okay all right now um the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to put this on our uh excel we're going to set up so we want to get first we want to put the header family name and then the header element id and then the header panel okay so to do that if you still remember on our discussion about the exporting our data from Revit to Dynamo to Excel, the one that I have shown you earlier, this one. Okay, so the node that we are going to use here before this, before the data export Excel is this one. If you want to put a header, you need to use list the add item to front this one. Add item to front. Adds an element item to the beginning of the list. So I'm going to select this. 
So we are setting up our Excel. So we need to use this one. Okay. So we want our panel first. Okay. And then after the panel, we want to get uh, these um, panel names. Okay. So I'm going to connect that to the list there. So what will happen is it will list first the panel and then the next are these items here. So if I'm going to run that, run again, and then try to pin this. As you can see, there's the panel and then the rest is the panel name. All right. So same procedure with our um, element ID here. Okay, our element ID. So to do that, I'm just going to copy this. Copy, control V. Disconnect, disconnect. Okay, so what is the item that we want to be put first? So aside from panel, we also want to have the element ID. Okay, so for that, I'm just going to create a code block. Just double click and then look, uh, just type uh, element ID. Okay, so just, oh, sorry. So you need to have an open and close parenthesis element ID and then semicolon, okay? Just like this one, okay? So element ID, we need to put that on our uh, item. And what are the list there? Okay, so we need to connect this one. Oh, this one, element ID. Let's connect that to our list. So if I'm going to run it again, run, run completed. So if I go here, you see element ID and then after that the numbers the element IDs okay and then lastly we need our uh, family uh, family name okay so I'll just create a code block again so double click open and close parentheses semicolon family name so I want that oh I don't need this one so I need this so copy paste so this item and then I'm going to connect these instances here okay so if I run again so I should be able to have the family name and then these are the family names okay there you go so now that we have um, set up what we want to do for our um, Excel so let us now create a list here. Okay, so let's create a list. So remember, on our last exercise, we have discussed this, list create. And even in our previous exercises, we've been using list create um, multiple times already. So since we have three items here, okay, so we have three items here, so we have Okay, so we have the panel, so we have the element ID, and then we have the fa uh, family name. So we are going to create three lists. So we already have one, so we need to add two more. Okay, so one, two, three. So we now have three items here. And now you are going to connect all of the output of this item that we have here. So since we want to have our family name first, and then element ID, and then after that, the panel. So we need to connect that in order as well. So family name first, and then uh, what's that? Element ID second, and then the panel is the third. Okay, so there's the third one. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to transpose this. Okay, so we have used this also before. Again, it's just a review. So we're going to transpose that. Let's connect our list to the list here. So if I'm going to run that and then check the output, there you go. So element, the family name, element ID panel, and then these are what follows, okay? All right, so now we are going to use the tool that we're going uh, that we're going to use for exporting, which is this one, export Excel. 
Okay, so we have several outputs, uh, inputs here. So we have the file path. So we already have that, which is this one. So I'm going to connect the file path here. And then what will be the sheet name? Okay, so I'm just going to create a code block here. I'll just put uh, sheet number one. There you go. And then I'll start at row zero. So I'll just add again here. Zero. And then let me connect that. Let me connect that. Okay, so zero start row and zero start column. Okay, and then what are the data? Okay, so the data that we're going to put here is our list. Okay, this one. So let's put that there. There you go. And then for the override, the default value here is false. So we need a Boolean operation here. So let's say I want to make it yes. So you want to override that. So you need to have a Boolean input, true or false. There you go. So if you want to override, so you just select true and then you connect that. There you go. Okay, and you are now ready. Okay, so once you have set up this, so you can now press the run and then let's, let, let me just close this Excel file. No need to save. So I don't have Excel open, so I'm just going to run it. Click, and there you go, okay? There you go. So we just exported all the details from our Dynamo to our Excel. Okay, so how about if I'm going to change uh, sheet one to mechanical equipment. Let, let me try this one. This one will work. So I'll just run again. And then I'll go back again to Excel. You can see that it's already overridden. So it's now on the mechanical equipment. Okay, so there you go. So let's review our notes here. So again, so we have the file path to get the, the location of the Excel file. And then after that, the categories, all elements of categories, these two, I notice it's most of the time they uh, come hand in hand. So we use this both at the same time. Also during the last video, we have used this two nodes, okay? And then after that, this one as well to get the parameter that we want from the categories. And then we just create uh, code blocks here, element ID, uh, the family in instance, the family type, Okay, and then we use this to set up our Excel to put first our header. So these are the header, panel, element ID, and family name. We put that on our, on the at the front, and then after that, the list. Then we create a list here, and then the code block for, for the inputs of the data export Excel. Then list transpose, and then the Boolean. Okay, so I think that's it for our exercise for this video. So hopefully you like this video. If you like, please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video to your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.